Imagine you come up with a trading idea in your head. Maybe you noticed some kind of pattern on a chart, or you've been studying technical analysis and found a formation that, in your opinion, works better than others on this particular chart or asset. How can you quickly check if it really works or if it's just your imagination without having to sift through charts going back three years? That's really hard and time consuming. I'll show you a method that will let you test your theory in just five minutes. All you need to do is create an indicator on TradingView, run it, and check it very quickly. This is a guide on how to turn a trading idea into an indicator. My name is Maxim. This is the Thinking Out Loud channel. Let's dive in. By the way, I was inspired to make this video by one of my dear subscribers who asked in the comments on the previous video to explain how to create an indicator yourself. He wanted an indicator that would show a double top, like the letter M, and a double bottom, the letter W. These are basic technical analysis patterns, and by the way, I also plan to record and upload a course on them here. But for now, let me just teach you how to bring your ideas to life and turn your trading or other concepts into indicators so you can quickly test them on a chart. And today, we're going to do exactly that implementing an indicator, creating an indicator based on the double top and double bottom pattern idea. And while I'm working on it, you can subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave a comment. Maybe I'll even create an indicator for you, if I can, of course. Let's start with a bit of theory. What is a double top? A classic double top is this kind of formation, right? So, there's one top, then a second top. And this is a reversal pattern, signaling the end of a trend and a move downwards from here. Usually, it's traded from this level, so, like the letter M, we start entering short from this level, and, well, we capture as much as we can. In my opinion, this isn't a very good entry, of course. You can make a better entry, but that's how the classic pattern is interpreted. By the way, it looks like a double top has also formed here, or at least it's starting to form unless it suddenly turns into a triple top, or a quadruple top, or something else. But since no one truly knows the future, let's completely delete all these current indications, and let's carefully think about precisely how we should determine, well, how we should accurately identify these significant tops. The simplest way is to use fractals. What is a fractal? A fractal is a pattern made up of five candles. That is, um, it's the highest point among five candles. So this point is lower than the top candle, this point is lower, this point is lower, and this point is lower. You see, we have five candles, one, two, three, four, five, where the middle candle is higher than all the others. It's the same here. See, this candle is the highest. Two to the right are lower, two to the left are lower. So both this candle and this candle are fractals. And that's actually a pretty good idea, because we can easily identify fractals. There's already a standard indicator for this, the Williams fractals. To use it, we go here to the indicators button and type in a uh, Williams. Here it is, Williams fractals. We add them to the chart. The fractals indicator is now enabled, and we can see that on each of these five candle formations, there are little arrows, yellowish, well, orange arrows for fractals below, and blue arrows for fractals above. Let me erase my scribbles so they don't get in our way. And now we see the chart as, well, having a whole lot of different peaks. But this still doesn't let us determine whether these peaks are actually related to a double top, whether they form the double top pattern. So what is it, really? Let's figure it out. A double top is when there are two peaks, kind of like the letter M, that are at about the same height. In other words, the level is roughly the same, right? So this gives us the second condition. We found the peaks and we start comparing them, roughly speaking, with some previous peaks. Is there a peak among them that's at about the same level for us? And it would seem that this should be enough. I mean, we could feed these two conditions into a neural network, create a query, and basically build a decent indicator that could probably show us a double top. But we also need to add some kind of time cutoff. Because we understand that, for example, here are fractals up and here are fractals up, and as you can see, they're roughly at the same level, right? So, more or less, they're at the same level, but they simply can't form a double top pattern. No way. Accordingly, we need some kind of limit on the number of candles. Well, let's say, for starters, let's try 30 candles. In principle, meeting these two conditions should already be enough to get some reasonable result. Let's write a prompt. I've already written it, and of course, I'll give you a link to it. Look, we're writing the conditions for creating, for forming a double top. Fractal within 20 candles of the fractal. The high of the candle that formed the fractal should be approximately equal to the high, with a margin of 0 0.8. I wrote that and suggested making it a variable so it can be easily changed in the settings. In the end, our indicator should give buy or sell signals. 
for the double bottom pattern buy for the double top pattern sell. And I feed it the code for the fractals indicator. See, Williams Fractals, here it is. You can just copy it and send it to the neural network. I use ChatGPT from Ramini High. You can use any other one. After thinking for a bit, ChatGPT gave me the code. I click the copy button. Let's go back to Trading View. Click on Pine Editor. Here, script, create new, indicator. We erase this small part here and paste the code that ChatGPT gave us. And we add it, add to chart. As a result, look, we now have buy and sell signals appearing on the chart, meaning the indicator basically works. Let me turn off the fractals so they don't get in the way, because this indicator draws its own fractals as well, and let's analyze the situation we've got. So, what do we have here? Look, right here we have some kind of gap, right? Two fractals, it's showing a double bottom. Here as well, a double top, two fractals are shown. And here, a double top again. But right here, where we saw it, the double top isn't shown. Why is that? That's because in the queries I specified that it should compare with the previous fractal, and here the previous fractal will be over here, so it doesn't meet the height requirement. That's why we need to tweak the code a bit. For this, I wrote another prompt where I clarified that it should not just check the last fractal, but go back 10 fractals and compare with each of them. If at least one of them is about the same height as our newly formed fractal, then the signal would be triggered right away. Copy prompt and paste to ChatGPT. ChatGPT gave me code. Again, I just blindly copy it and bring it over here to the Pine Editor, delete everything old, and paste in the new code. So, the chart has been redrawn, and now it does exactly what we wanted. So, you see, it finds double tops, here's one top, here's the second, and the difference is less than 0.7%. Here's another top, and again, it's less than 0.7%. You could probably even set it lower. Well, here it's 0.68. But basically, it's close to 0.7%. Well, basically, you could even say it looks more or less similar. But, as you can see, sometimes it's really not a similar signal at all, but you just can't completely avoid totally false signals. And it seems like we could wrap up the video here by saying that now you can add these signals to a screener that will monitor the market for you and send signals straight to your mobile phone. The video on how to do that will pop up here as a suggestion. You can check it out. There's one catch. You need to understand how the fractals indicator works. I showed you and mentioned that it identifies a pattern of five candles. Accordingly, the signal is only formed at the end on the fifth candle. Only then will you find out that there was a fractal two candles ago. And since this is a daily chart, you'll only find out that something happened and that it's worth taking a look at the market two days later, which, let's be honest, is a bit late. Now I'll show you what you can do to slightly fix this situation. Look, we're back on the Polyus Gold chart. This is Polyus Gold Daily. Polyus one day. Each candlestick represents one day. And you can see for yourself how this works. Let's rewind the replay a bit to this candlestick. Look, no signal, no fractal. Move forward one candlestick. No signal. Even though technically there's already a fractal, you haven't received a sell signal. Even if you ran a screener, you wouldn't have gotten any signal. So we wait another day. Still no signal. And only on the third day do you see the signal. Only on the third day, can you imagine? And from the height to this, to this candlestick, when you finally saw the signal, it had already dropped by 5, almost 6%. You have to agree, it would have been better to see the signal at least somewhere around here, right? Like, during the formation of this candlestick, as you can see, there's a difference to 18 and almost 6%, right? More than 3% isn't that, well, serious? So let's try to politely, politely, that's important, ask ChatGPT to create another signal system for us so that we have two signal systems. One will be an early warning without confirmation of fractal formation, and the other will stay as it is, the one we've already created together. I've written a prompt for this. It's pretty complex. I won't explain it now. You can read it later if you're interested. I'll just copy it and go to ChatGPT. Our indicator has a decent amount of code. It has become large. We click copy, go back to the Pine Editor, and now we have these additional signals. Buy early, sell early. So, in other words, an early warning system appears, so to speak. Let's check if it really is earlier. We click here on select bar, turn it off, scroll back a bit. Here, we don't have a signal. Let's keep scrolling. No signal, no signal. And here it is. See? The signal appeared earlier, and then the next signal appears, confirming it. 
See what a cool system we've got? You get a signal, then confirmation. Let's turn off the historical data. And again, we see two signals appearing. In some places, these signals went nowhere, just fizzled out. And of course, there are a lot of weak entries, a lot of fake entries. Here, of course, we need to think a bit more about this system to turn it into a trading strategy. For example, you can also look at the RSI. And if the first peak, this is important, the first peak is in the overbought zone, for instance, that really increases our chances of success. Especially if the second peak has already left the overbought zone and entered the middle line of the RSI. You can add such improvements, of course, making our indicator a bit more complex. You can turn it into a trading strategy to test how effective all of this is. But I won't talk about that in this video, because I already made a video on how to turn an indicator into a trading strategy. It should have popped up here somewhere as a suggestion. In the meantime, thanks for watching, leave your comments, and I'll keep making new videos for you.